another eBay supersize sales video. The sales shown in this video come from my Facebook group where every month we have a dedicated thread to sales of a hundred dollars or more. So if you want to show off your sales and possibly be included in one of these videos, this is where you need to post that information. You need to post what you sold, how much it sold for, where you found it, and how much you paid for it. And please, please make sure the picture is big enough so everybody can see what the item is because this is a learning thread and it's really frustrating when the picture is so tiny you can't see what it is. So we are going to jump in and get started with Danielle. She sold this RRL Ralph Lauren denim shirt for a hundred dollars. Took about two weeks to sell, bought at the bins, meaning the Goodwill bins, so paid about two dollars. So there you can see it's just a very plain looking denim shirt, but the Ralph Lauren, there's different lines and depending on if it's vintage or not, these can sell for a lot of money as you can see here. Next up is Margie Di Molina. She said, my first blow mold find was last August. Paid $20 for both at Goodwill and took an offer of $100 plus shipping because we just needed them out of our garage. It's March 1st. I guess people are thinking of Halloween already. So the item is vintage Halloween blow mold two black candles with jack-o-lanterns on top 35 inches tall so just about three feet and Margie paid $20 for the set sold them for a hundred next up is Leslie Wilson she said I noted this brand in Suzanne's bolo book and have kept my eye out bought this lamp for four dollars and even without the shade and some crazing throughout, it sold for $100 in about four days. The item is vintage Mackenzie Child's teapot candlestick table lamp with no shade, sold for $100. And Leslie is absolutely right. This item is on page 72 and 73 of the bolo book Mackenzie Child with the recognizable black and white checkerboard pattern on most items and these can sell for up to three hundred dollars. Okay now we've got Nihu bought this for fifteen dollars at an estate sale when looking through the photos before I came there, I thought these were men's golf clubs, but it turns out to be women's. Took a best offer because I only paid $15 for the set, along with golf bags and other clubs. Took two days to sell, but two weeks to list. Callaway, Big Bertha, Ladies, Gems, four through nine, Iron Plus golf clubs. Very good condition. $15 sold for a hundred. Cindy Villa. This was given to me so free. Had it on eBay about six months with other offers but held out so I could be on this thread. So congratulations Cindy. This is a vintage blue full-length coat with fur collar. Sold for $100.25. Next up is Brandon Haney. Bought this in a three deck lot on February 12th on Facebook Marketplace for $55. Have already sold the other two decks for $50 total. So this one is pretty much all profit. Took right at one month to sell. Buyer accepted my counter offer. This is Ancestral Path Tarot Deck Book Set. Paid 55, sold for 110. Well, 55 for three decks, so a little over, what, $17 a piece, sold for 110. Holly Johnson, 
paid $12 at a church thrift store listed for $150 and took a best offer of $110 in just a few hours. Redken and Rowenta Steam Infusion Hair Straightener Flat Iron sold for $110. Marissa McCoy found at an antique dealer's estate for $2 each, auctioned and sold for $111 within a week to an individual who authored a book about photographers in the Dakotas. Always look for stereo view cards taken by independent photographers. The railroad theme also helped drive up the bidding. The eBay notes across the photos are not pretty, but better than a watermark on one of a kind photos. These are antique Morton, Minnesota Railroad Bridge Stereo View Photos Lot. $2 sold for $111.11. Ken McNamara. And look, it's not pots and pans. <laughs> $7 for this vintage Douglas Cuddle Toys plush German Shepherd, 21 inch sold for $124.71 in 10 minutes. Moving on to Andrea Nolt. $2 at a little church thrift store sold in three months for best offer. Canvas back Drake carved wooden decoy duck. 1986 vintage sold for $125 and she paid two dollars. Okay, Carletta Holdeman found six of these at a small town thrift shop. Could not believe my eyes. I was charged twenty dollars for the stack. I knew they were good but I had no idea actually how much they were worth till I got home and started checking. There were no others like it that I could find so I listed one at a time. The first one I took an offer of $90. The second one I took an offer of $114. This one sold for full asking of $125. The item is Vintage Monterey Western Wear Oval Enamel Serving Platter, 15.5 inches. Sold for $125.95. Ginger Lamp Bright. I bought these last weekend at an estate sale for $6. I honestly didn't know what they were. They just looked like something unique. I listed them yesterday. They sold today for full asking price of $125.99. The item is Small World Rhythm Wall Clock Discs, Organet Music. So I have no idea what that is either, but there they are. <laughs> Six dollars sold for one twenty-five ninety-nine. Brian Rappaport, another swatch watch from a collection I bought in December, paid nine dollars each. Sold this one for one twenty-seven forty-nine. So it's swatch watch, Geisterstund, nineteen ninety-nine battery and case included. So a very cool looking swatch. Sean Carpenter. I picked up this bear at the Goodwill bins. Paid about 75 cents. It took about a week to sell. Vintage 15 inch Chosun puffy fabric body white clown bear polka dot. 75 cents sold for 127.60. Sue McCamley. She said this was an item I bought on my first online auction for $19. I originally listed it for 152 but took an offer of 134.50 plus shipping. Sold in about 3 weeks. Vintage Bakelite cherry red 15 inch necklace. $19 sold for $134.50. And here's our cover photo. Kim Spence 
paid six dollars at a local auction sold for full asking price of hundred and thirty five dollars took about nine months this is a vintage prison art lamp made with popsicle sticks and marbles so apparently this is some kind of arts and crafts thing that was made in a prison and there's several of them on eBay live and that sold so how strange that this made it out into the world but um, this just goes to show you anything can sell even a lamp made out of popsicle sticks and marbles she paid six dollars it sold for a hundred and thirty five Susan O'Connor I bought this a couple of years ago for around ten dollars listed it for $24.99 then ran it for three seven-day auctions with no bids meaning she ran it three times like it didn't sell run it again run it again my mom saw it and was doing black and white decorations at her house so I gave it to her unfortunately my mom passed away last fall and I didn't want it so I relisted it and two people got in a bidding war over it I have done pottery for a long time and this is the highest piece I have ever sold of red wing rum rill Wow that is a mouthful so you can see there it is uh, that brand red wing rum rill art pottery vase with handles and carved design sold for one forty three forty nine and this is another example of just having to wait for the right buyer to come along it may not have anything to do with the quality of your item or what your item is it's all about the right buyer coming along so this worked out very well for Susan Don McMaster paid four dollars at an estate sale sold in two days for best offer of hundred and forty nine dollars Michael Simon sweater birthday cake cupcakes and presents hundred and forty nine dollars she paid four and now here's Ken McNamara with his pots and pans paid twenty seven dollars sold for hundred and forty nine in hundred and fifty six days and Ken I commend you on your record keeping and knowing that it sold in hundred and fifty six days <laughs> he said I usually shy away from brown as it is not a great selling color but this set was in near perfect condition and hard to pass up vintage 1970s German Sillet enamel cookware seven piece set okay Leslie Wilson again found this guy in the everything else aisle at Goodwill for five dollars and forty nine cents thought he was pretty cool looking and picked him up when I got home I noticed other piranha comps were seventy five to hundred and twenty five dollars for some slightly smaller seven and a half to nine inch ones he sold within three weeks for full asking of one forty nine ninety nine so this is excellent Venezuela red belly piranha ten and a half inches taxidermy mounted so another example of anything can sell on eBay Mark Sherrill paid fifteen dollars at an online government auction sold for hundred and fifty dollars plus fifty nine dollars shipping this is a adjustable cup dispenser so probably just like a plastic thing you mount on the wall fifteen dollars sold for a hundred and fifty Lewis Prizzy paid eight dollars at Savers listed for a hundred and eighty dollars accepted a best offer after about a month vintage Chuck Taylor Converse all-star high tops Christmas elf and bells eight dollars sold for a hundred and fifty on offer okay now we've got KC a collection of my son's old toys some were gifts some retail some thrifted 
I never thought much about them and have passed on some in the wild. Perhaps this is a good sign to keep an eye open in the future. Sold for $179.95 in two weeks. And it's a lot of 247 pieces. Magformers, magnetic toys, lights, construction vehicles. Sherry Nyman. Three years ago, my husband and I married and we have a combined total of 100 years accumulation of junk between the two of us. In my very limited spare time, I've been dabbling with parting things on eBay. I have zero reason to thrift, <laughs> but was curious. I decided to go check out the bins that recently opened in our area. It was overwhelming, but I found this vintage men's rabbit fur coat. Paid $2.67, sold in 30 days with 1% promoted listing for a best offer of $175 plus shipping. This could become addicting. And yes, Sherry, you are 100% correct. <laughs> the treasure hunt is the most fun part. But I would like to come and go through your combined total of 100 years of accumulation because that would be like a treasure hunt for me. <laughs> anyway, this is a vintage men's black rabbit fur hooded coat. Sold for $175 and she paid $2.67 for it. Leslie Kidd. Purchased at a local favorite thrift shop at 50 cents per book, so $12 total. I always check out sets of books when I come across them, and this was the complete set. The books are Annie's Country Sampler Antique Shop Mysteries, complete series, numbers 1 through 24 and they sold for $175. Her investment was $12. Okay, Pam Hannock. These Legos are my grandson's as he never played with them anymore. I had not listed them for one year as I wasn't sure how I wanted to sell them. Decided to sort them into lots. This one had the minifigs. Put on auction and got offers right away. I took $160 on this lot. I have also sold a few other lots and still have another 12 to go. So far he has made $215. So this is a Lego large bulk lot of 160 pieces, minifigs, accessories, tools, hats, weapons. All right, now we have Cassandra Dunnings. My father picked this up at the Salvation Army. He liked it because it was leather. My father is not living now and I am using the funds to go towards a mission trip. This is a vintage Holland Sport USA large brown leather luggage gym bag sold for $180. Next up is Connie Musaw. I picked up the stool for free probably six years ago and my daughter used it in her kitchen with her four kids all these years. They have outgrown it so I asked to put it on eBay. It sold in a few weeks for $195. Tax and shipping added another 62 to the final sale price. This is a vintage kitchen Costco stool with atomic starburst flip seat. And just a side note, COSCO is the brand. It is not like Costco, the giant discount store. This is a brand of, um, I think they made baby stuff like high chairs. And um, I remember that brand uh, when I was growing up. <laughs> um, so just be aware that COSCO is different than the big store we all know called Costco. 
Okay, Wendy Krueger paid $12 at Goodwill, sold for $195 plus shipping in 10 days. I had to buy another box because the one I had was too small. Between the box and the packing peanuts, it cost me an additional $20. This is a Karen Cruden Winter in Williamsburg Folk Art Print Limited Edition. $12 and it sold for $195. We've got Louis Prizzi again. Paid $25 at Savers. Sold for full asking price after about a month. This is a Mattel Universe Classics Wonder Twins. <laughs> $25 sold for $224.95. Kelly Renz. This has been in our garage for years. I'm really surprised it didn't get chipped or broken. I don't usually do auctions, but the comps were $49 to $79, and I didn't want to price it too low. I was actually thinking of doing a buy it now for $59. I'm glad I didn't. The buyer was very happy to add this to her collection. Vintage Red Wing Prismatic Pottery Bowl. Orange and green. Marked $7.89 USA. And this sold for $225.50. Her cost was nothing because it was in her garage. Tim and Rachel Beachy. Bought this at an estate sale for $25. Sold within two weeks of listing for full asking price. Antique handmade Dresden plate quilt hand stitched. 88 by 71. $229.99 and that is a beautiful handmade quilt. Their cost was $25. We've got Brian Rappaport again with an interesting item. Paid a few bucks as part of a large ticket stub collection I bought in January. Sold this one for $249.99. Tom Seaver 300 win ticket stub Yankees versus White Sox August 4th 1985. 250 bucks for a piece of paper. And the last item in this video is mine. <laughs> I paid one dollar at Goodwill for this vintage Eden Toys plush lamb. I listed it on February 20th. It sold for full asking price of $324.97 on March 2nd. And there is a little story that goes with this. As soon as the girl bought it, she sent me a message. And I thought, oh gosh, this is going to be like, I want to cancel. I bought this by mistake. No, it wasn't that at all. She said, hello, I don't think you understand how much you are blessing me with this stuffed animal. I have been looking for this lamb for years. I'm 24 years old and still have my original from 1997. See attached photo of mine's current condition. Thank you very much. So here's a little uh, before and after. <laughs> like uh, mine's on the right, it's practically new condition. And hers kind of looks like the Velveteen Rabbit where it's just been loved so much it's totally falling apart. But um, this is what happens with plush. You've got that emotional element, um, the nostalgia, and you know here we have a 24 year old paying $325 for something because it means so much to her. So I was thrilled and shocked and very excited about this sale because um, most of my sales are not over $300. Um, so anyway, that was just a fun story. So we have made it to the end. Now, if you have sales that were $350 and up, those are coming in a special mega size sales video. I'll post that in a week or so. Um, you didn't get left out or passed over. 
So I want to thank everybody who participates in this thread because we can all learn. And congratulations to everybody on your sales. And just keep plugging along with eBay. If you haven't had a high dollar sale yet, you will get one. It just takes time and patience. Thanks so much for watching and have a profitable and productive day on eBay. See you next time. Bye.